Dear colleagues, uh, uh, dear chair, it's uh, a great pleasure for me to be part of this session. The theme that I explore in my presentation is important. The challenges uh, for the diagnostic service uh, in um, breast cancer when we use intervention, interver inter intervention technology. Everybody knows about the benefits uh, of early diagnostics. If uh, uh, breast cancer is identified early enough, but then it impacts uh, the outcome of treatment and survivability of our patients. There is a number of factors which reduce the oncomomological screening. The first in this row is uh, the complicative structure and heterogeneic structure of uh, uh, of he, of uh, uh, female breasts, it varies based uh, on the men, uh, period cycle and uh, patient's age. And because uh, of its uh, heterogeneity, we may miss uh, some important signs. Then uh, there is uh, a huge variety of morphological and molecular subtype subtypes in breast cancer. So we he we see the array of um, images. Um, uh, with the breast cancer signs. So we believe uh, it's a star shape node. However, there are some morphology subtypes which can look a lot like a benign pathology. Therefore, differential diagnosis must happen. There are non nodular breast cancer cases difficult to diagnose clinically and uh, with them. Um, X-ray as well with radiation technology. There are no um, single or unified methods uh, of uh, medical imaging for early diagnostic. We believe that the key um, tool here is uh, um, X-ray based mammography. However, it doesn't work uh, with the dense uh, breast. Uh, but uh, um, and cancer, breast cancer is at 43 to 54 percent uh, of females uh, older than 40. And then um, ultrasound can be used uh, in dense uh, memory gland and it can identify therefore nodes, but when it comes to uh, microcalcification, um, this is a challenge for ultrasound. And in fact, uh, uh, microcalcification can be an early sign of breast cancer of uh, intradectile, to be specific. So we have challenges uh, with um, specificity, lots of um, false positive results uh, uh, for MRI. Besides, uh, MRI is um, expensive. Uh, not all Russian towns uh, have uh, um, these machines, MRI machines. Uh, and not all MRI machines which have, have the special addition uh, to specifically diagnose breast cancer. Then another challenge, uh, the lack of uh, experts. Um, or professionals with expertise who can look uh, into the totality of uh, uh, image signs um, to diagnose breast cancer. Let us look at our tools. Um, a whole range of um, methodic uh, of uh, techniques. We have um, sonography of uh, high quality sensitive Dopplers. We can use eco contrast to see the true and uh, vessel based uh, architectonics uh, in tumors. The high efficient uh, and quite easy to perform methodology uh, for the compression uh, zone, I mean elastography. Digital mammography is uh, developing. Uh, Thomas synthesis is available, uh, magnetic resonance, uh, including dynamic contrast, uh, amplification, and diffuse um, weighted image. So plenty of data which attacks the doctor. And this is a possibility for the doctor to use all this data. But um, 
methods may be misused or misinterpreted or um, there is a lack of information for the uh, morphological variety in uh, breast cancer subtypes may all result in uh, complicating the diagnostic um, algorithm and even in uh, uh, poor diagnosis. Unfortunately, in Russia, we have uh, an organizational hurdle. There are um, barriers between uh, um, radiation diagnostic uh, experts. Uh, um, they do not kind of talk to it to each other, and we have different forces pulling into different sides, like in the Russian fable about uh, a, a pike, a swan, and uh, um, cancer. And because these experts uh, do not communicate uh, and they are in different services. We have patients like nomads traveling from one expert to the other, uh, uh, ending up with a huge pile of uh, uh, conclusions, but not a general diagnosis. So um, diagnostic experts of today use uh, the system of analysis and interpretation of images uh, by RADS. That's the American uh, uh, Association fruit. It covers mammography, ultrasound, magnetic resonance imaging, follow-up and outcome monitoring, data dictionary. But there are differences in arrangements. Um, in America, they believe that all three modalities are done, performed by one doctor who uh, then provides the general diagnosis and assigned by RADS uh, um, category, decides uh, on biopsy, uh, chooses uh, the navigation methods uh, to verify breast cancer, unlike uh, in Russia. Uh, in Europe and in the USA, it's already a routine practice. Here, I mean multimodal breast uh, cancer imaging. Well, in Russia, this approach is used only in uh, certain specialized centers. How to solve these uh, arrangements which block the development? Uh, the way forward is multimodal approach when we have all diagnostics performed by one expert who uses uh, all these um, uh, techniques uh, to decide uh, on the biopsy navigation and participates in biopsy per se. Uh, several cases. Our patient, female, 65 years of age, she saw her family doctors and um, complains about um, certain nods in uh, her left breast. Of course, uh, due to the age, there was uh, an x-ray. We see that uh, uh, the breast is pretty dense and we cannot visualize uh, the pathology. So the conclusion is that it's diffused uh, uh, breast uh, uh, adenosis and no suspicion uh, of uh, tumors. So clinical and uh, uh, radiological data doesn't match. So we made a comprehensive uh, exam, exam and we identified a node uh, which was test. Uh, it, it was harder at. Uh, uh, elastography and uh, by rats for C, which is a suspe suspected breast cancer, um, UV navigated um, biopsy uh, and um, gistology uh, invasive uh, non specific carcinoma. Yet another example 50 uh, years uh, age patient, uh, uh, her mom had. Uh, cancer at 50 and uh, this girl um, this lady had uh, augmentation uh, uh, of breasts with implants so because of the implants uh, she was observed at uh, ultrasound expert uh, at outpatient facility um, ultrasound did not identify any didn't identify any notes but there were hyperechogenic uh, uh, inclusions, uh, the doctor graded it uh, as a uh, mastopathy uh, because uh, 
um, these uh, specific uh, elements grew. Um, the specialized uh, examination was uh, uh, made, and we see the huge uh, height, uh, uh, hypervascularized zone and uh, intraductile uh, um, cancer. Biopsy was done. Invasive, non-specified, uh, non-specified cancer with uh, vast uh, intraductile ductal uh, component. The patient has had been observed for three years, uh, and there was a, a diagnostic uh, error because uh, she was not uh, offered uh, uh, several specific to cancer um, examinations and uh, doctors turned to be unaware or uh, didn't pay attention that it is no, not always uh, nodes uh, which uh, we see in breast cancer. We must uh, identify the pathological uh, focus. The next step, if we identified it, uh, to verify the process uh, through the navigation system. We select the navigation system best based on uh, um, the uh, best location for biopsy. At 90% biopsy is uh, UV guided. It's a traumatic uh, for patients, uh, but of course the doctor must be skillful. And it uh, takes uh, five minutes with the right skill. If we understand that there are uh, um, disruptions uh, in uh, architectonics and uh, microcalcification, then uh, we will do uh, invasive um, uh, biopsy uh, with uh, uh, X-ray, so-called mama test. It is um, uh, not so often, 20 to 10 percent of cases. When we see hypervascularized uh, areas, uh, then uh, the navigation uh, is uh, done uh, with one option only, where biopsy is done with um, MR navigation. Or in our center, we do fusion biopsy where we have both ultrasound and uh, uh, MR. Biopsy with the uh, UV control is the best, uh, not the best, but the most often used uh, way of taking biopsy. In our center, we started uh, uh, the vertical. Previously, we had the horizontal machine. But uh, now we um, do not use uh, the biopsy um, tip uh, for our mammographic machine. I do not know about any other uh, places where they do fusion biopsy. Probably we are the first who offers it. In our opinion, this is the easiest uh, way and method to practice compared to MR biopsy. When uh, you do MR guided biopsy, you have to stop um, the operations in the uh, radiological service because uh, the patient is in difficult condition. First, uh, she lays for an hour in a uh, uncomfortable position and it's pretty hard uh, both uh, on the patient and on the staff. In our center, we do pre-operation uh, MR, computer mammography. Uh, we record it on the disc and put it into the UV and then we uh, overlap uh, the image that we have with MRI. We uh, provide the image, the same image for the focus uh, for the UV method and uh, do UV with uh, um, and do biopsy with UV control. Of course, uh, it's easy on the patient, but uh, it has special requirements uh, for the doctor who must be uh, multi-skillful, uh, both in imaging and uh, in taking uh, biopsy um, material, trip on biopsy. 
my conclusions. Diagnostics of uh, breast cancer at different stages of uh, treatment and diagnostics requires comprehensive approach. And uh, our experience just uh, proving the diagnostic model um, uh, by, developed by the American um, Collegium uh, of uh, Bar of Radiologists. Uh, and multimodal approach allows you just uh, finish diagnostics in one day. Of course, uh, the expert uh, must be well skilled, but for the patient, uh, it allows to get uh, all important and significant uh, examinations uh, and possibly biopsy the same day. For the future, I see a great potential in this respect if uh, mammological diagnostic uh, services are set and uh, um, when we have uh, trainings offered for such multimodal uh, professionals. Thank you.